Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. Hope you all are doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by. So my people, wonders, truly they say, shall never end, though. Wonders shall never end, my people. So, INEC chairman publicly and shamelessly came out to tell Nigerians why election rigors we continue to go unpunished in this country. Hmm. You know, get what we no go see for politicians' hand, though. You know, get what we no go see for these people' hand. Before we get into this news, I want to beg you all to please help me by sharing and liking this video so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend it to more people. The news here reads The chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Yakub Mamudu has reviewed why election rigors will continue to go unpunished in Nigeria. Yakub said on T an Electoral Offenses Commission and Tribunal is established to take over the prosecution of electoral offenders from the commission. Rigors will continue to go unpunished in the country. The INEC chairman who made this submission at a post-election review meeting with media executive in Abuja on Wednesday noted that Nigeria's electoral process will remain ineffective. Ah, God, do He said it, it will remain ineffective without an appropriate body to deal with electoral offenders. So... Let's just continue. He maintained that there is an urgent need for the government to revisit the recommendation of electoral reforms panels headed by Justice Mohammed Uwas, Sheikh Ahmed Lemu, and Dr. Ken Namani, set up by Yara Dua, Good Luck Jonathan, and Mohammed Buhari regimes, respectively. Ninja News reports. Which government are they talking about, please? The same government that, that is taking advantage of the system, we revisit. These people, they are the biggest dreamer in the century. He said, here we are. The commission is saddled with the responsibility of prosecuting electoral offenders. I have said repeatedly that in our case, some of the offenders may be INEC officials. How practicable is it for us to get ourselves prosecuted? If you cannot prosecute yourself because you are INEC, then we have judiciary. Why is it that our court orders are not being obeyed? Why is it that our judiciary is no longer effective? Why? He continued by saying, that is why consistently committee upon committee have made recommendations since the OWAS Committee of 2009, Lemo Committee of 2011, and Namani Committee of 2017 that there should be an electoral offenses commission to deal with all violators of electoral laws, whoever they care, whether voters, INEC officials, or ad hoc staff. So that is a practical concern. Some of the things we have been doing may not lead to successful prosecution in the manner that we are dealing with them. Thank God. Now this man, now he just they come out like this now to shamelessly confess to Nigerian people that elections are being rigged in Nigeria and we are not doing enough. They are not doing enough. Them actually are not doing enough to deal with the offenders. They cannot prosecute themselves because they are involved in the process. And you wonder when people say that I collected money to declare bad results during the presidential election, you wonder why a lot of people said so. So INEC now is even telling you by himself that them as INEC, they may, they are, some of them are involved in this electoral malpractices in the violation in this election rigging make i use the right word to rig election for politicians that they are involved and as such they cannot be able to prosecute themselves that they need a standard body to prosecute them for the crime they are committing against the nigerian people through electoral process you know in this country like 
I wonder why is it that sometimes we hear some things from all these public uh, uh, office holders. We will hear some things from them and some of us will not think about it. We will not think about it critically. Imagine Ine coming out to tell us that unless this is done, election rigors, even at this point in time that we are talking about how they, conduct, they conducted the last election, the last general election, he, he is bold enough to come and tell us publicly that if we don't do this, electoral rigors will continue to go unpunished. And some people will see it, they will just overlook such statement as if maybe nothing was said. When we are supposed to take action. He is using, they use that, they send, they send signal to now. Say this election will pass through the rigam, through, through the rigam, but because say the day involved, you know, get what they go feed do. Actually, he is saying the truth because all these things are happening in this country because the person to make rigging punishable offense is the biggest rigger. So how can it work? But what baffles me, what surprises me in all of this is the level of shamelessness. The level of shamelessness from these people. The way they can just come out, come on public to talk rubbish. The way they can just come out in a public space to say things that are not supposed to be heard from them. Without shame. Imagine Einek coming out to say, if a body is not set up, maybe now let maybe now me they overthink this thing. No, maybe this thing where I neck talk no be big deal. Maybe now me just the overthinker say why you go come out so I can talk. Say election rigors will continue to go on punish in Nigeria if a body if a commission is not set up because they cannot prosecute themselves. Because if they cannot prosecute themselves, we don't have court. We don't have the judiciary who can prosecute them. So they must set up a separate body. The same body that they will corrupt. The same body that will collect money and shut up their mouth. If the judiciary cannot prosecute them, which other body they go set up? We no go collect bribe. For this country, we all of us know so. We no go collect bribe. We go come out, say things the way it ought to be. So coming out publicly to tell us that if a body is not set up, if a commission is not set up, Election rigors will continue to go unpunished in this country. And some people are looking at it and to them is honorary statement. Now maybe not my head. Now me they try to like overthink this thing for inside my head. I beg you, the issue of Nigeria is not gonna kill us so instead of these people to kill us, we will kill them. They will not kill us. That is it for you all, my people. INEC Chairman Professor Yakub Mahmoud, uh, Yakub Mahmoud, Abina Wetuna, the caller, has spoken. He that has ear should listen. And that is it for you all. I'm going to leave you all to share your thoughts with me on the comment section. And with all of that being said, I'll say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Your love, your love and support upon this channel is not taken for granted. Let me know what you think and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.